During the war, we didn't know there was a war on. Your mother knew there was a war on because she was in Coventry during the war, with the blitz and the bombing and that. But down here, we used to go out to Anafor and you could see Plymouth burning up there on the, you know, the skyline. All, all, no, no, well, I think we we're very lucky here, no doubt about that. But the fishing was going on, but not so much fishing, so therefore the fishing show, schools, shows had the chance to catch up. So the fish, right after the war, when the cannon factory started and that, it was coming in because you couldn't go wrong. No. So and, you were short of some things, but yeah. there was always plenty of fish. And yeah. And uh, as we know, you know, there were so many Pingelis fishing at that time. And, I mean, Terry went fishing with his father, Alfred John, but I only did it as a sideline, really. So did Grandad go fishing when he left school straight away with his yeah. dad then? Yeah, yeah. He was 16 when he went fishing. And did the, did his brothers go with him? Cause no. Because brothers... No, he was the only one. He was the only one. Uncle Uncle Jack went and nerved, uh, learned his trade on the railway. He became a train driver. Right. And then he went over to... Wales during mm -hmm. the First World War as a train driver and Uncle Albert, father's other brother, he was in the war and uh, he, he was only uh, 16 when he enlisted. Did he used to live at Western Hill? No, I don't think, no, not that I can remember. Who was the one who lived at Western Hill who had a leg missing or something? Oh, that's Uncle Bert. You were talking about my mother's family. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. That's the, the Moors. Moors. Right. The Moors. Mm -hmm. They're a big family as well. But um, Uncle Albert, he, he was a good salesman. I think that's where your brother Tony got the talent Oh, from. right. Gift of the Gap. Gift, right. I think he can sell. No doubt about that. But they used to do uh, bits and pieces of everything. He, selling and then bed and breakfast everybody used to do bed and breakfast and uh, then the hotels out Hannafor and there were quite a few they were quite busy and um, they people used to come in from Hannafor and used to use the bottom ferry and some you know there'd, there'd be as many as eight or nine mm. ferry boats. I can remember there being lots of ferry boats yeah. down at Pennyland for years. No, of course. You it, always had a choice of two ferries, top ferry and yeah, the bottom that's ferry. Right. Yeah. And I can remember it being a penny, and I think when it went up to threepence, we all moaned. No, it's 40 new <laughs> pence. <laughs> 40 new pence. So what's 40 what, new eight pence? Shillings? Eight shillings, 96 pence. Yeah. 96 old pennies. When I was at school, we used to have fights when, you know, some uh, Rathbone was one of the conservatives, I think, that, that put up uh, against Isaac Furt. And uh, there always used to be this conflict conflict between East Lewers and West Lewers. Didn't need much to start a fight mm, about. Mm. But uh, they used, used to get stuck in when it was uh, polling day. But I think the nice thing about Lou was the independence of everybody. I mean, my father was on the council, the longest serving, continuous serving member ever on the council. He was on for 35 years, continuously. And they were all independents. There was no politics, no, no political no. parties involved. It's only now that you've got that sort of thing comes into it. But uh, that was times when, it uh, uh, seemed to me, there was a closer was more closer knit community and uh, of course some of the yachts people uh, I'm talking about the uh, men who used to go away crewing for the J class boats and then they also go away crewing for uh, the wealthy people who had smaller boats I think Edward Saldy up West Hill was one of them and they used to bring he used to he had the, the freedom to bring in uh, the yacht that he was looking after and skipper of used to come down West Loo and it was quite an honour to get in and have a look around the, the, you know, something like a 40 footer but oh beautifully like a work of art the, the mm. finish to it and that, that was great